how to get distressed property lists. Guys, by the end of this video, you're gonna know how to get your hands on the hottest list in the country, which means if you can get your hands on these lists, you're also gonna get the hottest leads that lead to the hottest contracts that get you paid in real estate. Have you ever wanted to sit down with a wholesaler that has like a seven figure operation, someone that's doing over a million dollars a year and you wanna sit down with them so you can get their marketing strategy, the list that they're mailing to, but you're afraid to ask because you're like, nah, no one's gonna share that information, it's too sacred. Well guys, don't worry because in this video, I'm gonna break down the three hottest ways to get your hands on the hottest list and get ready for three because the third way of doing this, it has provided not only the hottest list, but it's been the hottest list for the past 12 months. Number one. This is self-generating activities. Now, this is something I love because whether you're watching, you're like, I don't have much money to your name or whether you do have name, this is something that you're gonna wanna do regardless. These are self-generating activities that I still do in my business and I've been wholesaling for now over six years. Now, self-generating activities, what are those? That is the first one, driving for dollars. That's one where you just simply get in a car, and be creative on where you're going. Don't drive in brand new homes where they're just getting built for the first time. You wanna be in like 30 year old homes and older, driving through those neighborhoods and you're looking for homes that are distressed. You're looking for broken windows. You're looking for garage doors that don't work. You're looking for cracked concrete in the driveway and weeds are growing through it. You're looking for tall grass and you see it moving but you can't see the small dog that's running around in it. You're looking for rain gutters that are falling off, roof shingles that are peeling. These are the things you're looking for. Now, the cool thing about this list is it's very unique to you. This is also a list that only you are gonna have. This is not something your competition is gonna have. Yes, there might be some of these names on some of the other lists out there, but in its entirety, this list is very specific to you. The other way to self-generate some leads and to get some hot list is by having this relationship manager. Have someone that is creating relationships with other real estate agents. Maybe someone that goes on appointment as a realtor and then they find out, oh my gosh, I can't even list this home because it's in such bad shape. Be that person's top dog that says, when you come across that, don't pass on that deal. Bring it to me and if I purchase it, I'll still pay you commission on that deal amazing way. Another way is just meeting other wholesalers, other wholesalers that are out there doing deals, that are out there marketing. They may come across deals that they can't move and because you provide maybe value that they don't have and maybe having a cash buyers list that's massive, maybe they couldn't move the deal because they don't have a cash buyer on their list that wants it. So be the one that adds value and let them pass that deal through to your cash buyers and have a split on the deal. Number two is you wanna go to the source. Although there's a ton of companies guys out there and I'm all about revenue and first position. So I'm not the one to promote third house or third party people that can go out and find your list and you pay a premium for those lists. I'm all about if you can get your hands on those lists without those third party services, you're gonna be better off. Because if those third party individuals can get the list, that means so can you. So maybe for just in general purpose, search these third party people that are going out there and saying, hey, we can sell you this list, tax delinquent list, code violation, meth contaminated, water shut off. If they can sell you that in the city and the state that you live in, that also is a great sign that you can get your hands on it. So I want you to go to the city, the county, the township, the municipality, the courthouses, whatever that sounds like, because some are small cities, so they have like municipalities and townships, and some of the big ones, just city and county buildings, and then all the way to the courthouses. Why? Because that's where you can get access to these public records of people that are behind on taxes, people that have just recently had their water shut off, meaning they're probably behind on bills, maybe they've lost their job, you can get access to meth contaminated homes. Now to most people they're like, ah, oh, that's scary, I don't wanna do it. Guys, meth to me does not scare me. Meth to me smells like money. That means bigger discount. So don't be afraid of meth contaminated homes. And at the end of the day guys, these are a great resource. Now go for no seven times. That's the secret behind going to the city, the county, the courthouse, and the township, municipalities, is you can't just ask once. They're gonna tell you it doesn't exist. They're gonna tell you, nope, you can't do it. Nope, that doesn't exist. Nope, we have many people ask for that, you can't get it. Nope, that's not public knowledge. And they'll tell you, no, 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 no. Get creative on how you ask. If I was someone going in there and I'm trying to figure out what it is that I want, I would go in there with the mindset of not lying. I would never, ever, ever lie. And I would never tell any one of you guys to lie. Be a truth teller, be a truth seeker. 
So if I was going in and thinking outside the box, I would go into that county recorder's office and I'd say, hey, quick question. I use the word if, not, hey, my mom's behind on her taxes. That would be a lie because she's not. But if I said if, if my mom and dad were behind on their taxes, how would I find out? Because I would never want my mom to lose her home because she's behind on taxes. I would want to pay those off. How do I find out if my mom's behind on her taxes? And because I've used that line, they said, oh yeah, what you do is, and she pulls up this computer, she shows me the exact website, she shows me how to log into it, how to pull those records, and from there forward, I knew exactly how to pull the tax delinquent list. So think outside the box and don't give up. I go for the rule of seven times. Hear the no seven times before you give up. Hey guys, before we move on to the third tip, I've got this channel dedicated to making you become the best wholesaling business out there, free content that you have access to. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so it alerts you when I put out fresh new content, and then watch and learn and go take action. All right, let's talk about what I call the third strategy of finding the hottest list. Now guys, again, just like I said at the beginning of the video, these happen to be the hottest list that have been the hottest list for the last 12 months for my company. So when I say urgency, Get your hands on these lists. They're gonna provide you some of your hottest leads you'll ever come across. And that is, I'm gonna share it with you in an acronym, PEND, P-E-N-D. P stands for probate. Probate are just the homes that are, maybe mom and dad passed away and you're inheriting them, you the son or the daughter inheriting the home and it has to go through probate court, okay? So there's just been a death in the family and someone else is gonna take care of the estate. So you've got probate. The next one is E. E stands for eviction. There's a ton of landlords out there that when they don't get paid or when a tenant trashes their rental, that they have to file a notice of eviction. And that is a public record. Now, the beautiful thing behind that as well is you're catching them at a time when they're frustrated. One of my favorite stories is at the beginning stages of wholesaling, about my maybe 10th deal in, I happen to be driving and I see this for rent sign out front. So I called him, I said, hey, I'm right here in front of your home at 123 Main Street and it says for rent, is it still available? He's like, yeah, they're both still vacant. I said, okay, um, here's something crazy. Would you actually consider selling this? I'm looking to buy a home in this neighborhood. And he says, oh my gosh, you couldn't have called me at a better time. He's like, these tenants, they just trashed my home. On the one side, they smoked meth and on the other side, they dumped concrete down the toilets. And I just remember sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, what would I do if these were my homes? And he's like, come out here, I'll make you a song of a deal, make a sweet offer, and let's make something happen. That was something that I put under contract right on the spot, why? Because I caught him at this frustrated state of mind where he's like, I do not wanna deal with tenants, I do not wanna deal with rentals ever again because of the bad they do. So eviction, amazing. Now N, N is notice a default. Those are the people that are kind of like pre-pre foreclosure, the ones that might have missed one of their payments. They'll get what's called a notice of default. Now the beautiful thing behind this, it's not very hard to get. To get that list, all you gotta do is go to your local title company or your local closing attorney, and if you're bringing them business, meaning they're closing all your deals, they have access to many of these lists that we're talking about in this acronym. Notice a default. Really, really good because it could be that there is enough shift in someone in their life that you're catching them at the right time, that they still have time to prep, do it right, and still have time to work through it, think of where to move. And so we love notice of default. These are individuals you can reach out to and maybe yes, they lost their job and you're really trying to help them get to plan B. There's a lot of these deals that we serve and we don't get the deal, but we help them out and they refer other people but notice a default. You're catching them at a great time where they don't know about their future, they're uncertain about their future, and they're looking for solutions. And then you've got D. D is divorce. Divorce is something where when, obviously you guys know what divorce is, I don't even explain that, but at the end of the day, a divorce starts with where in a timely manner, they usually have to split up assets and a home being the number one thing. Usually one or the other doesn't stay in it, they usually sell it and split the asset, split how much money comes in. And so the divorce is a great time because again, high frustration, and this is one of those things that you're trying to go out there and be a problem solver. And you can do it in the timely manner that they're looking for. We've had divorce cases where they need to close on the deal, sell it in seven days or less. And as an investor, we're able to provide that service where a traditional real estate agent, he's gonna list it and it's gonna take a minimum of probably 45 days to sell it, even in a hot market like we're living today. Well, that wouldn't have worked for this customer that we had. So divorce, now guys, 
all of these lists, they're very easy to get. You can still go to some city, courthouse, county buildings. Those are always there and you can access these lists. But then more importantly, make good relationships with these probate attorneys, eviction attorneys, and also divorce attorneys. Those are easy ones. Now, because they have a fiduciary responsibility to serve their clients at a high level, they're not just gonna send you deals, send you deals, but they'll present you as an option. And when done right, that comes as a very warm referral where they can say, hey, depending if you're looking to sell this or not, if you're looking to sell quick, here's an option, here's a card of an individual that they're investors, they do buy homes, they can fix and flip homes, they can buy in pretty much any situation. So if you need an option, here's an option. And because we're able to establish those great relationships with these attorneys, we're able to get a handful of referrals every single month that come in as warm leads that turn into warm contracts that also pay us money. Hey guys, as a free gift to you, I've left a link down in the description box that is free access to my master marketing list. This is gonna give you access to the 32 marketing list that we market to at any given time so that you have more than just this acronym of the pen, right? Now you have all access of our 32 marketing list that will provide hot leads that you can get out there and do deals.